Uh, the Vice President of the National Border Patrol Council, Art Del Cueto, joins me now. Good morning to you, Art. Uh, to Matt Finn's point, what can we expect when, when Title <clears throat> 42 ends? What are you expecting? Look, it's been the same old song and dance since this administration took over. You're seeing the chaos at the border right now with Title 42 in place. As soon as you remove it, you're just going to have that much more because the individuals that have been crossing under and been being getting returned under Title 42 are now going to get released in the United States. That's where the problem is. Who's going to be taking over? The cartels, as they have been since this administration has been in office. They're the ones that can direct the traffic and continue to bring in drugs while agents are preoccupied doing processing. And, and as you've heard, the majority are getting released. A huge majority are getting released. Yeah. Instead of just releasing them, they need to be detained. You need to have immigration judges and asylum officers there at the border look at the actual cases and send back those individuals that do not uh, qualify for asylum but detain them. It does not work that you just release people in the United States because they're never going to show up to their court date. Yeah, it's a complete crisis, a complete mess. And you know, uh, Democrats are criticizing Texas Governor Greg Abbott after he sent busloads of migrants uh, to near Vice President Harris's residence on Christmas Eve. Uh, a White House spokesman said this, quote, Governor Abbott abandoned children on the side of the road in below freezing temperatures on Christmas Eve without coordinating with any federal or local authorities. This was a cruel, dangerous and shameful stunt. Meantime, Democrat Congressman Joaquin Castro called Governor Abbott, quote, worthless and heartless. So, Art, Democrats ripping Abbott, but isn't it the President uh, Biden's policies that have created this crisis? They're creating the human suffering by giving the impression that all you have to do is show up at the border and then you can come on in. That's exactly right. They created this magnet of chaos, and at the same time, they've created the magnet for the criminal cartels to continue bringing drugs in the country. And I've, we've said it many times. What happens is the cartels control where these groups are going to be going. Once they're going to that area, they know agents will be preoccupied having to do transport, uh, medical watch, and many times, as or all the time, processing all the while, the drugs are just coming in. And you see the numbers are going to fluctuate of what's getting away and what's not getting away. It's, it's the same old story. Look, if, you, if you're not in the forest when the tree falls, did the tree really fall? Because no one's there to hear it. And that's exactly what you can expect in the future. More and more groups are coming in, more gotaways, more drugs, more heroin, methamphetamine, and fentanyl that will be going into our streets all over the United States. And it's caused because this administration yep. fails to do the right thing. Send immigration judges, do the right policies, detain people. Don't just release yeah. individuals for creating criminal, uh, for, for their criminal conduct. But, Art, very quickly, there's no sign that any of that is going to happen. And do you expect next year to be just the same as this year, if not worse? Next year is definitely going to be worse because word spreads real quick to a lot of countries that the United States is not yeah. doing anything about defending our nation's borders. Well, we'll have to leave it there, and that's sad, sir, sad thought. Anyway, Art, thank you so much for joining us this morning to talk about the crisis at the border that continues to just rage on. Thank you very much. Art 